first of all, how, how would you how would you describe the SIC and how it's changed in the last eight years? Is it because it, it, it was it was a pretty wild ride? Well, you say wild ride is a roller coaster ride, <laughs> it, up and down through turns, and it was a it was a wild ride. But uh, I think New Mexico has learned that we need to change the state investment council up, which the, which the legislature did, which I helped put that bill together, go, go there and change up the makeup. I mean, after being in existence for 90 years, you need to change things, things up a little bit, and that's what we've done. Mm-hmm. I think it's changed for the better. We went through some times there where uh, things shouldn't have happened at the state investment council. There was too much authority to the state investment officer, and the governor had too many appointees on there. So we've got that changed. And I look for one of the most thrilling things I have been on there. Us at the state land office, we contribute about over $3 billion there. So the fund, land grant permanent fund, we lost a lot of money on it, but we put it all back in there through the state land office, through the leasing, and it's been really rewarding to do that there mm-hmm. and put that back in there. As for our investments there, it's like any investments. We went through the worst recession since the Great Depression in, in 07 there and 08, and we've come out of it pretty good. Our funds are, are, are valued now almost $10 billion, the land grant permanent fund. So we feel, feel like we've really recovered good off of a really severe recession. Tim Keller wants to kick the governor off the SIC. What are your thoughts about that? I think that's a very good move. I, I like that, what the senator wants to do there. I looked at other states that they don't have the governor on there. The governor is so involved in other issues around the state now that he doesn't show up very often anyway, that he needs to be off there and turn over to some real managing people that know the business and know what to do. I think it'd be tremendous. I think that'd be good for, for the State Investment Council. Now, after all this roller coaster's done, what's your opinion of Gary Bland? I think Gary Bland was taken advantage of by some, some people around there. I don't think Gary benefited very much at all from it. I think p- people took advantage of him. So you think that there was, that he wasn't uh, out to defraud or uh, do any kind of sneaky dealings, uh, underhanded dealings, uh, you know, in the state that he was. Well, I, I'll let I, you finish. I think he made a really good salary, and uh, I don't think he intentionally went went did anything that wanted to defraud everybody mm-hmm. and steal money from the state. I think people took advantage of him on third party marketing that he he really didn't have a good concept of, and they really took advantage of him. What um what happened with that? third-party marketing, the Carrera stuff. I mean, what's what's the bottom line there? That's still being investigated, as far as we know, by the FBI, Security Exchange Commission, and the Attorney General's office. Did you have any suspicions during your time there that some, some of these things weren't right? You know, being more of a farm rancher guy and from New Mexico all my life, we really, I didn't, no one else knew about it. I didn't know about it until it was revealed back in, 06 or 07. The first four years we didn't know. And now do you think the SIC is in, on firmer footing? Oh, absolutely. That's the State Investment Office and Council both have learned tremendously from what happened here. We're taking steps in there to make sure this doesn't happen again. And I think it's a real good learning process. You're not crazy about the film auditor or the film uh, advisor guy, are you? I just don't see the benefit to New Mexico by paying somebody $260,000 a year to work. 30, 30 hours a month. That's just not right. We don't need that. We can, and then plus he's in charge of the audit. And we're supposed to get money back from these films. They bring in more than they're supposed to. That's the. That's just not right. I, I just don't think it's good for New Mexico. Do you think that the the uh, the, the state invests too much money in um, film tax credits and that sort of stuff? I do. This time of day, we're in another third year of, of a half billion dollar deficit. I think we're subsidizing an industry that doesn't need to be subsidized. They're just a very lucrative industry, the film industry. They make millions of dollars. They pay actors and actors millions, millions of dollars, and we don't need to be subsidizing an industry like that. We'd like for them to come here, film in New Mexico, but I think we should look after New Mexicans first and not subsidize the industry that doesn't need to be subsidized. A couple other questions for you. Um, you're going from the frying pan into the fryer, going to the PRC, which is a controversial uh, uh, organization. In fact, there's some people on the government restructuring task force say do away with the PRC. Um, so, 
What, what, are you, what are your thoughts about going from your current position over to the PRC? Well, that's a lengthy discussion, but <laughs> I was in the state Senate when we put on the ballot for people to vote on the combine, the PUC, the Little State Corporation Commission, and the PRC. The people voted for that. It's been in place since 98. And, and things need to be changed there. We need to go to the legislature and ask for changes and ask for help. I think a lot of people at the PRC are reluctant to do that. To, to, you know, when you say change, people put up a brick wall. No, we need to go ask for change. We need to change, make several changes in the insurance division and the utility division. And I'm looking forward to a challenge. I want to come to the legislature, try to get some changes, and make that a better place for New Mexicans to reside. Abolish the PRC, that, that may come, but as I learned on my ranch, if I fire a ranch hand, who's going to do the work? Well, I'm going to do the work. So if you're going to abolish something, we've got to figure out who's going to do the work and make sure we have good hearings and people, consumers represented. What's the uh, impression that you have of the PRC? I mean, there's a lot of, of, of current and for, former members who've had some scrapes with the law and things like that. What's, what's your general impression of the PRC? PRC, the commissioners have to be above board. You, you have to start at the top. Commissioners got to be show that they want to show up to work, be there, do it, and have, have a clean slate. That filters all the way down to the to the employees. I think most of the employees there believe in good government. I believe in good government. We want to take that challenge and make it good government there. What do you think about your your uh, your tenure has been uh, as a land commissioner? And when you look oh. back on when you look back on that. The land commissioner, being the commissioner of public lands for the state of New Mexico has been a great honor to serve the people here. It's been the best job I've ever had. We really like taking care of our lands, making income, money for education, and making create economic development jobs around the state. It's been, it's been a thrilling, honorable job, and, and I want to thank the people of Mexico for putting me there. The uh, man who took your place took a couple shots at you on the campaign trail, saying that some things weren't, uh, I think, as transparent as he said uh, they should have been. What were your thoughts about that? Well, transparency is, supposed to, is the new guru word, but our books are open to anybody all the time. I have an open door policy. Anybody come see me at any time, I'll meet with anybody on any subject. So, and we have beneficiaries meetings, we hold them four times a year. Nobody shows up. They don't really care. They don't want to come there. So, we're transparent on it. I mean, it's there. We advertise in the paper. So, you can only do so much. If people want to know, they can find out. And, and we're there. We're, we're always open to the people to talk to. All right. Thanks for the exit interview. All right. Pat